In this lecture, we are going to address why is testing necessary? In order to understand this, we must remember that all of us are human. And being human, we make mistakes. And those mistakes can be very expensive. The expense can be loss of money. It can be a crucial loss of time. It can also be a loss of business reputation. And the final and gravest loss is death or injury due to our mistake. In order to avoid these losses and to minimize risk, we have to test every single aspect of our product. Now let's answer, why is testing necessary? The answer to that is, we need to perform testing to reduce risk, find defect, meet contract fulfillment. We perform testing to reduce the risk associated with the product because it reduces the possibility of finding a bug during the live use. And how do we do that? By detecting the defect, which is our next point. We have to detect defects so that they are not seen in operational use. So, when the user is using our product, they should not be able to find these defects. It's our responsibility to find them first through testing. The third point is meeting the contract. We have to make sure that we are meeting all the commitments we made to our customers. So if the customer asks for something that is not included in the contract, this is where we find it. These are the reasons testing is necessary to the process of product development. Now let's see a real-time scenario to understand this topic. Let's say there is a developer who works on a code and creates a software. He then directly hands over that software to the customer. Now that the customer has a software, he uses it, but soon becomes very disappointed. Why? Because he has found an error in the software. It's not meeting his expectation. So now the question arises, why did the customer find the error and not us? The answer is that once the software was developed, we handed it over directly to the customer instead of going through the rigorous process of testing. If we had put the product through this process, it is possible that we could have caught the error before it ever reached the customer. And this is where I have to mention something crucial. We have to perform appropriate testing at appropriate levels. Now we will understand the meaning of appropriate testing at appropriate levels. The development of a product can be broken down into several levels of activity. At each level, we have to decide what is the appropriate testing that should be carried out. Let's take a look at these different levels of development activities. The first level is requirements. The second level is the design stage. After design, comes coding. In the upcoming lecture, we will see how testing contributes to success at each of these levels. What you need to remember is, if we carry out appropriate testing at each level, then we will achieve a successful product. Let's summarize the important points. Testing is done to reduce risk, find defect, verify contract fulfillment, one need to perform appropriate testing at appropriate levels.